Hey Taurus, my name is Jenny. Welcome to the Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing your reading. Let's just jump right in. Just letting you know that it, these are general readings. If you're interested in the personal reading, go ahead and click the description box below for my uh, website information. I really like doing readings in person. I'm not a fan of recordings. However, I offer them, but I do like Zoom calls. I like that. I like to be able to see who I'm talking to. I like to be able to, um, if you want to know about someone, I can read them. Like that's the kind of conversation and that's the kind of back and forth I like with the person I'm reading. I don't like just send me a question. I can do that if you prefer not to talk to me, but if you're interested in the reading, go ahead and click on the description box. All right, Taurus, what's going on? Let me get recent past, current energy, future for Taurus. What's going on? What you don't see coming is a new job, a new career, something new with that. Um, however, right now I feel like you're saving money. I don't feel like you're in any money problems. That's not what I mean. I just mean you're saving money for whatever comes up. There might be a situation from your past trying to revisit you. Um, someone's holding on to your energy because this is not you. Um, it could be, take it how it resonates, flip and switch if you have to, but I feel like this is somebody else. So, um, here in the recent past, what I'm seeing is that you may have left the situation after realizing some kind of a hard truth to face. <clears throat> Current energy is beautiful. It's like you were never in anything. I'm just saying it's like beautiful. It's uh, you're manifesting. I don't know if you know that, but you are. You're only entertaining things that make you feel good. Uh, you're taking care of yourself too. So you're being very assertive right now with all the things you need to do. This isn't just taking care of yourself. This is like taking care of business vibes. That's what I see here for you right now. In the near future, there might be someone from your past uh, trying to make a plea to you. They might say something along the lines of, I've been missing you so much. This has been difficult without you. Something like that. Uh, let's clarify this whole reading and see what this is about the person holding on to you um they're seeing you in a different light so whoever this is i feel like this is something that you walked away from when they come back in and they make it seem like they miss you and they just want you there. And uh, this energy here is very, I don't trust it. With the five of swords. No, that's somebody who would, you know, do and say whatever they need for themselves. And by any means, you know, by any means. Uh, what did Taurus walk away from here in the past? Probably that person, to be honest with you. Yeah. I feel that you walked away from someone that at one point you even considered your soulmate. Um, not to mention they could have even said that you were their soulmate. Who knows? 
Uh, you had a lot of love for this person. A lot. And, and the thoughts of this person just, I feel like it was overbearing at times. Um, after this breakup or during the breakup, of course, that's normal. I think we all go through that. So don't feel bad about it. Something is telling you that something better is coming along. It's like you're getting an intuitive hit. Like this in my past couldn't have been it for me. There is something better coming for you, by the way. Maybe a divine connection from what I'm seeing here so far. It's certainly not the connection from the past that you already left. Or maybe someone left you. It's not that one either. Okay. I see you uh, in the past getting some things cleared up with someone. Um, not getting things cleared up, but I kind of I see you seeing someone else in their true light. Like if you had any rose colored glasses, you took them off and you got to see someone for who they are. There's someone that can't handle stress. Everything becomes difficult for them. They can't handle anything if it's not their own BS. Um, there's a very scared energy here. They're like nervous to do anything. So they stay in an indecision. And there is someone who likes to be out on social media, likes the attention wants to be seen for probably what they look like or not for what they act like. That's for sure. Or not how the fear in them, you know, they do have fear that I get heavy. You're manifesting new love. There's healing here. There's you walking away from that person and love coming in next. That quick. I'm, I mean, I don't see it quick. This doesn't have to be quick. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. This doesn't have to be quick. That's just the way it shows up. It's so quick, you know? Um, this could have been months. This could have been years for some of you. You know, I don't know. I don't know that. That for sure, I don't know, but it just seems like it's so such a smooth transition. I'm sure there's more to it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. You don't know when it's coming. Yeah. But what you're manifesting is coming. And I see you manifesting a relationship here um, with someone who's going to work with you. Like, not with you as in at your job, but work with you, compromise with you, talk to you. If you have a business, I see them helping. If they have a business, I see you helping. It's possible you could work together. Take care how it resonates. But I get this more like a friendship type of relationship. It's an equal give and take. And you just don't see it coming, but you're manifesting it and you're going to get it. And someone from your past is going to be jealous. Someone from your past is going to be jealous. I feel like they watch your social media. Something here about a car. I don't know what it is. But they watch your social media. They stalk your life. Um, and they're seeing you being confident. They're seeing you like taking care of yourself, traveling. They see you traveling. And the thing about it is that this person is not even happy for you. So if they're lying and saying that they are, they're not. They're not. 
I don't see one happy. No. It's like they're jealous of you. Yep, that person is coming back in. They might even say, I want to marry you. Oh, you're so beautiful. They might just lay it on love bombing you. Because, I mean, I'm not getting all my narcissist cards out here, but I have some out here. And it cracks me up. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am, I can't with narcissists anymore. I, I've done it. I've been through that. I've done it. Now I see it and it cracks me up. I almost want to sit down with a tub of popcorn and see these people just, you know, blow their own life up. Uh, I watch from afar. But this person's going to love bomb the hell out of you or try to. So if that sounds like something you know someone would do, yeah. If you don't know what love bombing is, look it up. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to say that they miss you, um, but they're going to be very inconsistent. And even when they offer love, it's not open, it's not genuine, it's not reciprocating, it's like very guarded, you know, very on the defense. Don't be surprised if they accuse you of wanting to do something to them or I get a real like, I don't know. I do get a narcissistic vibe from this. Mm. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. Sometimes when there's like a lot of energy in here, it just overwhelms the heck out of me. And I'm like, calm down, you know? Um, anyways, I see you here in the near future. Oh, you're doing so good. There's a lot of transformation here for you. There's success in love. And if your sex life was trash, it's going to get better. I see you moving. And it's possible you can be moving in with another person in the future after this is over with. Because I see this marking something very special in your life as in lessons learned with the wheel of fortune here, you know? So a lot of lessons learned. Let me see if there's any advice for you. I'm just going to do this this time. Any advice for Taurus? Taurus, you might have some someone here trying to come back from the past. Um, I swear to you. It's also saying here that um, you might have some abandonment issues to look at. That all that really means, well, I can't say all it means for you, but the way I see that manifesting for me or the way it manifested for me in the past was just settling for settling for things that didn't serve me. You know, uh, I was in a bad relationship. We broke up about a year ago, um, uh, over a year ago. And it was horrible. That relationship was, I didn't even see the mess I was in until I left it. And then I, now that I look back, I can't believe I was ever in that. Anyways, I settled. I didn't think I was going to find anyone because I am almost 40 and I'm a single mom. And my, uh, my daughter doesn't live here anymore. She's out the house. My son's still here. And I'm like, about to be an empty nester. And, and I'm kind of like, you know. I got to find somebody and I settled and he was trash, literally. And this is saying here that there might be an abandonment issue with you. So make sure you're not settling for trash. Okay.
that's your homework. No settling for trash. Like I did. <laughs> Good thing I woke up. <laughs> I'm not going to do that on a long-term basis. Hell no. Like, no. I'm, I'm glad I got out of it because I know a lot of people don't. I pray for that. I pray for a lot of people to get out of their bad situations. I, mm, I could write a book. I tell you, I could write a book from the stuff I went through. Oh, well, there's your card. Hold on. I'm going to bring it over. And you get... If I could ever pick it up... Wow. That was a mess. I hope I didn't like smack around my mic too much. Is this thing still on? Oh, good. Good. Loon. Intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. There you go. So, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please subscribe, hit like, share comments. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you next week. Bye.